Welcome back. Oh, it's raining. How I miss the rain. Anyway, into crossroads. Put down the umbrella, obviously. Oh, honey. You sure come here a lot? I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? Oh, I, I will. Ugh, it's really coming I'm down drenched. out there. Did you get wet? No, I've got an umbrella. My trusty umbrella. Why don't you sit and wait it out? I'm sure you brought me some good info, right? The higher-ups are starting to get tired of one-off articles. You have anything good to share? Incubus. Stronger soon. Hang out with her. Well then. Alright, let's hear it. Oh? Hmm. So that ace detective is serious, huh? I see. Oh yeah. Something I need to apologize to you about. You know, it's part of my job to research particular things. What do you know about me? Well, um, I ended up finding out about your criminal record. All the dots. I realized you weren't just some ordinary kid back with my chief. I did some digging out of curiosity. And I found a ton more than I was expecting. Sorry. I have to say, though, if ruling made in your case was really odd, yeah, it would be. Some kind of deal must have gone down behind the scenes to make sure that was the end result. Must have been tough for you to handle. You're just a kid. <laughs> well, just forget about the past. We're in the same boat when it comes to being labeled. Hmm. Are you sure we're the same? I absolutely am. That's why I vow to avenge my partner for... Oops. Lala chan refill. No, it's your turn to tell the truth. You can't go rooting around in the kid's past and expect to keep your own secrets hidden. Wait, don't blame me for that. It doesn't have anything to do with my private business. You can trust me. Or can you? I mean, it's not like I don't trust you. And hold on a sec. Why am I getting treated like the bad guy? Look, you're going to feel way better talking to someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Besides, you'll explode if you keep all that alcohol-fueled anxiety bottled up in you. That's true. And I guess this is the fairest course of action for our business partnership, huh? Just don't tell anyone, okay? Back when I covered politics for my publisher, I had a partner who helped with photography. Kayo Murakami? We were a pretty well-known team in the industry. We blew the lids off countless scandals together. That is, until that day came. We were on the trail of a certain bureaucrat who was involved in a slush fund to support refugees. He kept himself pretty well guarded. It was almost impossible to get any solid leads on the guy. Then one night, I got a voicemail from Keo saying she had gotten hold of something big. But that was the last I ever heard from her. The next day, that bureaucrat was found dead at a love hotel. Keo had gone missing. Hmm, what was the cause of death? Well, the cause of death is unknown. The authorities couldn't tell whether it was a murder or a suicide. As for the killer... Shit. Police accused Keo. They said she killed him in a crime of passion. It's impossible, though. She never would have slept with a disgusting man like that. And more importantly, it's pretty damn fucked up to make allegations like that without any evidence. Ichiko Jen. Sorry. The case was closed, but we never found the truth. Ikea was labeled a professional disgrace. And since we were partners, the company decided it would be best to move me to another department. I'm going to prove Keo's innocence, though. That's why I'm conducting my own private investigation now. Hmm. It's unforgivable. You're damn right. But, thanks to all the info you've been giving me, I should have more time to focus on my investigation. I won't let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Alright. We're even now. I didn't enjoy it, though. Are you sure about that? It's been ages since I've seen you smile this much. Well, maybe you're right. I've felt this alive in a long time. 
<laughs> okay then. I'll write a great article to commemorate our sharing session. Exclusive. The Phantom Thieves. Lofty ideals in connection with a secret society. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't worry, I'll definitely come up with a better headline before we go to print. Please do. Growing deeper. Unprecedented scoop allows you to begin with a low security level when infiltrating a palace. Cool! Alright. Not great, but you know, it'll do. Hmm. Still, there's just one thing that bothers me. There's no doubt the chief is on to my investigation. <laughs> we should keep acting like a couple so we can trick him. How's that sound? No, oh, leave the kid alone. Hey, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be heading home by now? Bim, ba -dim, bim. Hey kid, can we talk? I'm loving the sound of this rain. What if like people have extracted the um, rain sounds from this game? Like the music, they've done that, sure. See that all over YouTube, but the rain sounds? I'd be intrigued. I'm sorry about earlier, really. I'm only digging up your records and such without asking. I mean. I don't mind it. What's done is done. Thanks. Didn't you say that helps? Don't worry, I'm not gonna leak it to anyone. It's my duty and pride as a journalist to protect my sources at all cost. I'm actually making great progress on my private investigation thanks to you. And now I'll be needing your help later too. So I can find out what really happened to Kao. So, yeah. Here's to helping each other out. Bye bye. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a new day, everyone. 27th. Blinding Saturday. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. Intra-squad. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelette with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Hmm, do you have the money? No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine, you owe me, got it? I want the same, extra large. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed! Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. Oh, fair enough. You better not be hitting on me. How rude! Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean her training's going good? I wonder if it's more you guys are being trained. Hmm. I think so. Let's go with that then. Like they're the ones that are getting used to her and her ways and that sort of thing. Like they're literally being trained themselves. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. No, no, you're all right. I, I'll take water. Thank you. Water's fine. I want iced cocoa. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. I'm liking Ryuji more and more. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. I'm glad she's enjoying it, though. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will we be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Hmm, when is good for you? I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow, I think. Go the day after tomorrow, then. Nice, Ryuji, nice. Just let us know if you want up for it. Utaba, okay? It's alright, I, I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. 
You just wanted to rhyme, didn't you? Okay. Well, we made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Right, let's see if we can feed the plant. Hey, hey! Can you give it some plant nutrients by now? Mega fertilizer. Do do. Can you use that one? You must really care about this plant. Reasonably so, yeah, I guess. Still going up. Yes. I should do it for a while. Yes. Right, so let's see about heading over and spending some time with Hifumi. What a How am I thinking get sharper on rainy days? It's raining too hard today. The noise is making it hard to focus. Really? Can't hear it in here. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for a match right now. Can't teach you shogi right now, or rather, from now on. I'm a checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but can't seem to give up. Not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. Ifumi seems troubled. Knowledge? Fuki? Grow stronger soon, but there's a but. Alright, let's, let's hang out with her. What? You'll help me think. Thank you. Actually... Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should... lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. What do you mean? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women. The result get more female fans. Then when I make my comeback, I become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. Like that won't work. I wish I could agree, but I feel my mother may be right, but do love a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but... What made me sad was... I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into shogi. It's terrible. And that once I become famous, I can quit shogi and make money from my looks. Oh dear. Yet your mother has problems. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However... Losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden. I don't want to turn my back on shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Let's make her reconsider. <sighs> Only that were possible. It is. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. Uh -huh. Or her heart. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity. Through me. I highly doubt she would ever con reconsider. Shim of his name. It's... Mitsuyo Togo. Um... What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I need to do something about the target for Hifumi. Da -da -da. Bum -ba -dum -bum. All right, so that's that's her in the holding pattern. Now, 28th, Sunday. Okay. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow, we hit the beach. Hey, you there? Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes! Is Futaba here too? That means we're not only helping out at the cafe, but we're also babysitting Futaba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. Boom, 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 boom. Need to get an Algeru as well. You want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. Really? Oh, that reminds me when I was, uh, what was it? What was it? It was an area near LA. Pasadena, I think it is. I think that was the place. There was, it's on this, on a corner in, like, the downtown area of Pasadena. It's like this juice bar. 
and got an orange juice there. Like, they used like five or six oranges to fill a glass. I was like, all right then. Just squeeze the life out of them. It's a, it's a big, big, big glass, but still. It was very nice, though. Very nice. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Yeah, it sucked. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. I like how she just hides behind us there. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Yes. Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? He's after a good cup of tea. Do you serve any? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai San recommended it so strongly to me. Do I really have to press it so it moves on from the eyes? Or do we just stare at them? For a good long while. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. <laughs> it gets around. That's impossible. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. <laughs> Again. If that's the option, I'm going for it. All the dots. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What is this? More to it than that, mate, but yeah, yeah, all the dots. Correct response. What's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. Good fireback. That was a good fireback. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. You shouldn't be. I spat in it. Stupid piece of coffee that's horrible. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> I have no words for you, you coffee drinker. Oh, that's a shame. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Ugh. Just, just no. Just no. You know, Ketchy, that annoying dude who drinks coffee. I always change the channel when I see him. Understandable. Understandable at this point. All he ever does is nitpick and drink coffee. 
There's no way the Phantom Thieves are the bad guys. They drink tea. He's so desperate. It's kind of lame. Ugh. Not a fan of coffee, you may have noticed. I'll come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. I like this scene. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. You went by yourself? Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. Well done, Futaba. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> He's like, yeah, maybe move away. Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Move away! It's like, it's clearly going in one direction. Move! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> Hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. He can move! Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! T ten? Ten? No! No! <laughs> Just move! Like, this is your own fault. You're like, you know, I'm gonna stand right where the smoke's going and then blame them for it. Move out the way! Ugh. Does she think I'm some kind of toy? Well, you're an idiot right now. Just move! Alright, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. I'll be entrusting care of Futaba to you, Ren. What? But I'm worried. No. Oh, alright. I'll be good on my own, you know. It's like the I'm worried wouldn't be in regards to himself. It would have been in regards to Futaba, which is not how I want to go about things with him here. It's like that doesn't feel right. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. Already made preparations for when that happens. That don't make me feel better. No, she's a planner. I can I can appreciate that. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. We were having a good time earlier, but you kept ruining it by moaning about the smoke constantly. God. Anyway, let's see about going off to the underground walkway. Alright, this one isn't going to improve anything. Hey, There's a case of like, if we don't use it, we'll be stuck with the charm one. Man. So, we need it to change. Nice. The charm was watching you try so hard. Like, yeah, whatever. So, we need that charm out of the way. Because we need to get kindness or guts. We don't get guts from that one, do we? Can't remember now. Right, let's go see Best Girl. Mishima is still not here. Where is he? Is it, is it just because he's on his summer vacations or something? Oh. I say vacations because the game does, in case you're wondering. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. This time I felt that you were having trouble with women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Do a verification test. Please take a seat. There we go. Hmm, don't think it will deepen just yet. Okay, hold on. That's so. Because we want it to deepen. Um. Or can it deepen? I think it can. Um, get a fortune reading. What shall we do? Spend my money, apparently. Okay, Chihaya. 
<laughs> so much giggling around here. Doom, 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 doom. Your feelings should have reached the other person. Yeah, what you. do you think? Um. Hmm. That was different as a result, so yeah, we're definitely on the right lines now, aren't we? Is that so? Um. Is there something else you need from me? Oh. Fine. Um, do you remember what happened last time? That man, Chairman Fukurai, visited me. If you have some time, can you stick around and chat for a bit? There we go, we become stronger soon. What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with Chihaya? Hang out with her. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Um. So I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting and I wasn't completely honest with you. You lied? But I've decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san. As well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I... I already told you about how it was a small, traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? When I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered me as a messenger of God. When I kept predicting disasters, they started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed, a monster. So I locked myself away. It would still come by to throw stones through the windows, though. I was like, aww. Mm. Things went on like that for some time. Till one day, an angry mob came and burned the house down. That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money. So I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people. That's when Fukurai san approached me. Um. He's a psychic too, you know. He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had just come to Tokyo. Once I told him why I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join it with the ADP. It was when he gave me the moniker of Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed a divine power to save others from misfortune. That I could become more than the monster people saw me as. I broke down the moment he said that. <laughs> Deep down, I knew all along that the Holy Stones didn't have any powers. But I thought I might be able to save people, even though I was a monster. Perhaps because I was a monster. So the truth is, I was only ever selling those holy stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person, huh? I don't think so. What? My fortune said you're supposed to hate me. I never thought you would overturn even that fate, Ren. I've made up my mind. You know what? I see now how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to the truth. Thank you very much. For listening to me today. If there's ever anything you need to talk about, I'd be glad to return the favor, Ren. I can sense a strong resolve from Chihaya. Special Fate Reading provides a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. Oh! Alright. I won't use it because that feels like a waste because it'll probably cost me money, right? Probably will. Special Fate Reading. By getting your fate read, you can find out a confidant's future abilities. It will then be viewable from the confidant menu. Oh. Now that I think about it though, just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers. But it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a holy stone. Honestly, don't hold any sway there, even though I'm the Maiden of Relief. Um... Just who is the chairman? Let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. Again, for today. Ren, please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman, nor the ADP in general. 
So I'm thinking of doing some research on the ADP first. I'm done turning a blind eye. Good, 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 good. But are you going to be okay? They're not going to come after you or anything, are they? Are you worried about me? That kind of makes me happy. But yes, I'll be all right. As long as I have the trust of my clients and believers. I am the maiden for relief, after all. That you are. From now on, I will see with my own two eyes rather than through cryptic fortunes. I'll let you know if I find anything, so please promise me that you'll come by again. Oh, certainly, certainly. Now, I should be going. 